Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking to you about this transporter safe that is made by Console Vault. Now I have reviewed Console Vault products in the past. I actually have a Console Vault in my Chevy Colorado pickup truck. Uh, it's been great. I had it for about a year now. Actually even upgraded the locks, which I'll get into a little bit later. I do have a video on that install on my uh, Chevy Colorado for the console vault. So if you're interested in checking that out, I will link it in the description below. And uh, some of the issues that I was having were that I have another car, my wife's car, and console vault does not make a vault or a custom vault for that specific vehicle. So obviously uh, many people are having that issue. And what console vault did is they put together this transporter safe that's uh, made to the high standards, just like the regular console vault. But it is something that you can transport with you. So you can have it pretty much in any vehicle. And of course, many more scenarios that I'll get into. Some of the specs on this transporter. It is built with 12 gauge steel, meets the highest quality standards. It has a heavy duty coated steel cable with storage. It has the triple guard lock system. It has various locking mechanisms for you to choose from. The locks are drill resistant. There is free shipping anywhere in the United States and it is backed by its lifetime warranty. As far as the dimensions on this transporter, it will fit gun sizes uh, up to a 1911 frame. The width is 11 inches, the height is 1.75 inches, and the length is seven inches. That is taking into account the cushion that's inside of there at 50%. I do quite a bit of traveling, and not only am I worried about, let's say, my firearm safety, but I'm also worried about my valuables. Uh, not only while I'm transporting them in the vehicle and sometimes have to leave my stuff in the vehicle while I'm traveling and have a restroom break or a uh, food break, but also while I'm inside the actual hotel. Uh, while I'm there, all of my valuables, whether they be firearms or whether it be other things, uh, passports, watches, uh, crypto wallets, crypto backups, anything that you deem valuable that would fit into this safe, once again, giving you more of that peace of mind. There are four different lock types that you could choose from. Once again, depending on your preference, they're all pretty much good to go. Some have uh, some features that are better than others. I went with the Elite Lock because that's the same one that I actually do have in my uh, Colorado on the console vault that I have in there. So I'm used to it and that's why I opted to get the same Elite one for the transporter. Console Vault also offers a military and veteran discount, so be sure to take advantage of that. And as usual, I will post much more information in my blog post as well as the links and everything else that I'm talking about here, so be sure to check that out. I will pin it in the comments below. The default combination on the locks are 0000. To be able to change that to your own uh, code, you would go ahead and on the opposite side of where that little depress button is, there is a little indentation with the paper clip. You're going to go ahead and press on that. Make sure that your lock is set to 000, the default. You're going to be able to press that in. Once you're able to press that in, you're going to select the four digit code that you want. Uh, in this example, I picked 1111 and uh, change it to that. And as you can tell, now it'd be able to open with the 111. And if I went back to the default, the 0000, it will not open. So as far as attaching the steel cable, as you can tell, it has its own little compartment up on top. All you have to do is release or uh, counterclockwise, untighten the little uh, plastic nut that holds it in place. Be able to take that nut out, the little uh, drawer drops down, and you can either retrieve your cable or place your cable in there for storage. So a pretty cool feature that that comes with. And once again, to return it, make sure it's tucked in underneath those little lips. Setting up the cable is pretty simple. On one side, you're gonna have two pieces of metal, little round cylinders, and you're gonna wanna wrap this cable around whatever you wanna wrap it around, something that's immovable in your car, some uh, piece of steel frame in your car underneath the seats. If you're in a hotel room, uh, some immovable furniture. So once you have that wrapped around, you're gonna feed it through that little bite or that hole on the other end. What you wanna do is look for the hole on the side of the transporter, Make sure it's unlocked and open. You're gonna go ahead and insert through that hole, that first little steel cylinder, and then you're gonna go ahead and close your transporter. As you can tell here, it is fully locked, and I'm unable to remove this cable while the transporter is locked. So bottom line, if you're in the market for a safe that you can transport that is built to very high standards from a very reputable company, 
and will give you that peace of mind while you're on the road. As a matter of fact, even at home. Definitely take a look at this transporter by Console Vault.